Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips. Right now, taking a really quick look at this. It's the Pioneer DJ DJM250 Mark II Mixer. It's a two-channel mixer that's got three band EQs on board, sound color filter effects knobs per channel, as well as a parameter knob, and a magvel fader for the crossfader. It's also got USB connectivity on board, meaning that you can use this with your laptop running Rekordbox DJ. That's not all, it is also Rekordbox DVS enabled, meaning you can use this mixer with a pair of turntables or CDJs, and you can spin using time cold vinyl or CDs. So, in this review, we're gonna do two things. First off, I'm gonna give you a features rundown of this mixer, and then after that, I'm gonna give you my thoughts on whether or not it's a mixer that you would want to add into your collection of DJ gear. Let's get started. The DJM250 Mark II is a two-channel mixer that has a USB sound card on board. This allows you to connect it to your laptop running Rekordbox DJ. It also works as a standalone mixer. No computer needed for mixing with turntables, playing regular vinyl, or CDJs and XDJs running thumb drives. It's got three band EQs, trim pots, sound color effects filter knobs, channel faders, and a smooth Magvel fader for the crossfader, which is Pioneer DJ's top of the line fader found in high-end gear like the DJM900 Nexus 2 and DDJ-RZ controller. It has a crossfader curve switch as well as a hamster switch for reversing the crossfader. There's a 9-segment LED meter here for checking your channel levels, plus an 18-segment LED meter for your master out. Lots of connectivity around the back. It's got RCA and XLR master outputs, phono and line inputs for each channel, an RCA aux in, and even a quarter-inch mic input. Of course, it's got a USB jack that you use for plugging into your laptop. In front, you've got two headphone jacks, quarter inch and eighth inch, useful if you're prone to losing your headphone adapter right before a gig, just like me. The sound color effects knobs come with a parameter knob that let you change the shape of the filter curve for a different filter sound. It's also got a filter on and off button over here so you can activate or deactivate the filter quickly. As mentioned, this is Rekordbox DVS enabled, so you can plug in a pair of turntables and scratch with timecode vinyl, or you can plug a pair of CDJs and spin with timecode CDs. Lots and lots of pro features crammed into this pint-sized entry-level mixer from Pioneer DJ. All right, so what are my thoughts on this mixer? Well, there are four things that I liked about it. First off is the build quality. It feels like it's built like a tank. This is really, really solid. It's metal all around. I've got a Pioneer DJ DDJ RZ controller. It's got a metal faceplate at the top, but at the bottom, it's just made of hard plastic. The DJM250 Mark II actually feels a lot more solid. It has a nice heft to it as well. Definitely a solid, solid mixer in terms of construction. The other thing that I liked about it is the Magville fader. Now, I'm no turntablist, but I can appreciate a smooth, buttery cross fader when I'm doing baby scratches and basic stuff like that. Even for mixing, this comes in really, really handy and it just feels great. So that's the second thing I liked about it. Now, the third thing are the sound color effects knobs. Now, granted, you've only got the filter on this compared to the DJM450 Mark II, which has a lot more sound color effects. Over here in the 250 Mark II, you've only got the filter. However, it does sound really, really good what you'd expect in like a normal DJM 900 Nexus mixer, that's what you're getting here. Plus, I really like the inclusion of the parameter knob over here. I think uh, it makes for some really creative filter tweaking while you're mixing. So again, really, really nice inherited straight from the DJM 900 Nexus 2, these filter knobs are. I just talk like Yoda there. And the last thing that I liked about this, this is gonna be gonna sound a little bit boring, but uh, this really made quite an impression on me. I really like the quality of the headphone output in the DJM250 Mark II. Now I've used two channel mixers that are a little bit cheaper than this mixer. They're mainly used more for scratching. So I think that with those mixers, uh, headphone quality wasn't really a high priority, but not so with the DJM250 Mark II. It's, the headphone output here sounds loud, it sounds punchy, and it just sounds good even though you've got the volume set really, really low, or even if you're gonna crank it up a bit, uh, it just sounds good 
uh, it doesn't sound like a mushy mess when you turn it up really loud. And I think that's a good thing because that means that you can take this to a gig. Uh, if you have like a bar or a pub gig or even if you're going to DJ at a party, you can take this along with you and you can use it without any hassle. I used to have that problem all the time. Even when I was using a Traktor S4 or a Traktor S2, the headphone outputs for those controllers just Aren't that loud. So I'm really pleased with what Pioneer DJ has done with the DJM250 Mark II. Now, the only thing that I didn't like about this mixer was that it didn't have a booth output. Now, that means that this mixer is meant for home use or for small gigs, uh, places where you probably you're probably close to like the PA system or something like that, or you've got a uh, little speaker right beside you so you can hear what you're mixing. So definitely this is not something that you would want to pick up if you are a mobile DJ. You're going to want something that has a booth output so you can take your own PA speaker, put it right beside you, and control the level of that speaker using a knob on the mixer. The higher end uh, Pioneer DJ mixers have that, of course, as well as their larger controllers. But having said that, uh, the booth output really is more for professional DJ use as well as mobile DJing. And those are applications that the DJM250 Mark II aren't geared towards. Right, so is the DJM250 Mark II the mixer for you? Well, if you are a beginner DJ and you want to get a little bit more serious with your mixing, maybe you want to add a pair of turntables to your setup or a pair of CDJs, maybe you want to do away with your controller and you want to go modular by having a standalone mixer, the DJM250 Mark II ticks those boxes. This should be on your short list. If I were just starting out, this would be the mixer I would want to start out with. Again, uh, the construction is just so robust. The sound quality is good. The filter knobs are great. Basically, you've got everything you need to get started with uh, DJing on this mixer. It's a great bonus that they've added a record box DJ and record box DVS licenses to it, so you don't have to spend an extra $200 or $300 just to get those uh, pieces of software and that's really really nice of Pioneer. Of course, uh, it doesn't come with a time cold vinyl or CDs. You're gonna have to buy those separately but at least you don't have to purchase the software separately. I think that's really really cool and uh, if you've got like a large vinyl collection and you want to spin with that, of course this works standalone. But I think it is also a really good entry into professional digital DJing. Let's say uh, you want to practice at home uh, before you head out to the club or if you want to graduate to mixing with CDJs or turntables over at the club, uh, you can get your record box uh, set prepared and your record box DJ playlists done and you can mix through this and then you can just head on over to the club, take your laptop along, plug it into the, whatever mixer they have there, probably like a DJM 900 Nexus 2 as well as CDJ 2000 Nexus 2s and all that stuff. You can just plug your laptop in there and you can mix as usual, just like you were at home. Or of course, you can just uh, prepare a USB drive with all of the songs. That's also really, really good. But I think the strength of the DJM 250 Mark II is it really is the heart of your hardware setup system if you want to go digital. So again, for DVS, this is fantastic. If you want to spin with timecode vinyl, timecode CDs, that's awesome. And also at the same time, if you just want to have a mixer that you can keep in your bedroom, uh, if you want to have like a turntable somewhere there and you don't want to have to take out like your full uh, DDJ RZ setup like I've got and you know you just want to have something that you can mess around with in your bedroom, I think this would fit the bill. It's very attractively priced. It comes in at just under 400 bucks. As far as Pioneer DJ gear goes, that's a really, really good deal. Uh, they always price um, their items at a premium there. A little bit more expensive than the competition, but the DJM250 Mark II, I think, is really aggressively priced and that's really good because it brings a lot of pro features down to the entry level price point, which is always a good, good thing for DJs starting out and DJs who want to get serious. So that's it for my review of the Pioneer DJ DJM250 Mark II Mixer. I've got the full in-depth review of this over at the Digital DJ Tips website. The link is in the description box below. Please hit that thumbs up icon if you like this video and hit that subscriber button if you are not a subscriber yet. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you next time.